This is Supply House Times editor Mike Miazga here at the 2012 KBiz show in Chicago at McCormick Place. Joined right now by Mullen's Mike Refner, and we appreciate you taking a couple of minutes to talk to us today. Thanks for coming by. You've got your new Arbor with Motion Sense uh, faucet that you're debuting here at the show. Why don't you run us through real quick uh, some of the features, and then we'll talk about the uh, the valves underneath. Sure, uh, I'll take you through. Uh, this is Arbor with Motion Sense launching this year. Uh, it'll be available August 1st, uh, shipping August 1st. Um, the idea behind the faucet, one of the number one consumer needs is being able to actuate the water and turn the faucet on without touching it. Uh, people are you know, typically handling meat or uh, things in the kitchen, their hands are dirty or greasy and they don't want to touch the faucet to spread germs uh, and keep things clean. So they want to be able to actuate the faucet, turn it on hands free. Uh, there's a number of couple couple of different ways that you can do that with the faucet. There's a it is uh, working with either the wave sensor, so you can wave your hand over top to turn the water on, wave it to stop, or the ready sensor. So if my hands are dirty and I just want to rinse them off real real quick or rinse a, a plate or a cup, I could just put my hands underneath, wash my hands off, and then as soon as I move my hands out, it turns off. The wave sensor, when you do wave over that. Um, the water will turn on and then when I wave back over it'll turn off. Also, if you think of this, it's also a mechanical faucet as well. So I do have a handle to adjust the, the uh, faucet on and off. Um, so in case somebody comes into your home and they're not familiar that it's a digital faucet, you can still use it in the mechanical mode. A um, couple of other things with the faucet, it does include reflex so or pull-out system. Uh, reflex gives you the ability to uh, uh, use the faucet and it's got a pivot joint in there for easy ergonomics and it docks securely every time so when I pull that out and release it it docks up into the spout uh, each time that I use it um, from a installation standpoint we did a lot of work there as well to ensure that it's easy to install and it's installed correctly each time. And I could show you some of the uh, chart there. Yeah. Underneath the cabinet, uh, space is at a premium under your cabinet. You got a lot of cleaners, buckets, things like that. We tried to make the control box as small as we possibly could um, so it's not getting in the way and interfering with other things. So that will mount with a keyhole slot and these brackets directly to the wall in the back or the side so you could choose the spot that you want to put that in. Um, there's also push fit connections. So when you're installing uh, the valve to the faucet, uh, you have your hot and cold inlets which are attached to the valve, but these push fit connections just slide right in like a shark bite connection. Also, all the connections are, are labeled. So I have four hoses that I connect, marked one, two, three, and four. The corresponding hoses are also marked one, two, three, and four, so you can't mistake which one uh, goes where. There's also a couple connections. There's a power connection and a data cable. Uh, what we found in the research, uh, we had two different shapes or the same shape. We had both ground connections, uh, and there was some confusion on which one was power and which one was stable, uh, data. So we made one round and one a trapezoid shape. So it's easy to identify there as well. Uh, the faucet's powered with a battery pack. It takes six AA batteries. Typically, they'll last about a year. Um, and then there's an optional uh, hardwiring kit, a service kit. So if you wanted to hardwire it, you could do it that way as well. Um, it also comes with some, uh, some ties to keep everything neat and clean so you can keep all of your wires and, and hoses out of the way and out of all the other um, interference that you might find under your sink. So very important for us to design it to be easy to install. Uh, we know sometimes the installers don't read the instructions or want to go through the instructions, so we wanted to try to make it as intuitive as we possibly could. A couple quick other questions. I know before when you were talking, a couple of questions came up about if your cat would happen to jump up and jump over that thing, you're not around, sure. or you're out of town on a vacation and one of these one of these guys here comes crashing down. Okay. What's the safeguard in place to prevent that faucet from continuously running? Sure. Uh, well, the way the sensors work, or the ready sensor, if you put your hand in, uh, it'll run until your, your hand or the plate or the dish is out of the zone, so it'll automatically stop. The wave sensor, if something were to fall on it or your cat actuates that, um, you wave your hand over and wave it back on, but in that case, if you're not home, it'll time out after four minutes. 
So if that did happen, it would time out. If you are going on vacation, another feature of the faucet, if I want to disable any of the electronics, I would simply hold my hand over it for five seconds, move it away, and then all the electronics are disabled. I could still use it in the mechanical mode, uh, but the electronic versions, or the electronics, the wave and the ready sensor will be disabled at that point in time. To turn them back on, simply hold my hand over for five seconds, turns everything on. Now how about finishes? Every, you know, a lot of people have kids, we're doing this all the time, and uh, sure. what, can you run through the finishes real quick? Sure, it comes in three different finishes. We have chrome, oil rub bronze, and uh, we also have a spot resist stainless, which we just launched this year. One of the things that people uh, find troublesome, in the, especially in the kitchen, is a lot of spots on the stainless finishes. So spot resist stainless, so you can touch it, and it's going to really resist getting any spots on there. So it helps in terms of the cleanability. Uh, so a new finish for us this year. And how is this going to be available once it's released? This will be available through all the uh, plumbing wholesalers. Uh, we're looking at, at shipping this product on August 1st. So you'll be able to go to any of your typical plumbing wholesalers out there and purchase the product there. Stop, I appreciate you taking a couple of minutes to talk to us today. Stop, we'll have more on KBiz in the June issue of Supply House Times.